Hello. Hello. Good evening. Buenas noches, ¿me escucha? Hello, good evening. Good evening, Raquel. Welcome, Estrella. Good. Hello. Hello. Thank you. Okay, let me share the link. Vamos a compartir el enlace para algunos que están ahí pendientes. Okay, um, well, let's see. We have Lea. Hello, Lea. Hello, Rosa Elba. Hello, Raquel. Hello, Hello Estrella. Hello, Pichar. Okay, um, I'm going to say this in Spanish just in case. Um, you may be surprised. Bueno, es, eh, ahí en el grupo se les avisó temprano que íbamos a estar sustituyendo a su docente por esta semana, digamos las tres eh, sesiones que, que nos faltan, ¿verdad? Eh, vamos a trabajar ahora, mañana y el viernes. El viernes vamos a completar la jornada de la semana, eh, así que van a estar conmigo estas tres jornadas. Okay. Uh, por si alguien estaba ahí sorprendida, que no me conocía o que no es la clase correcta. No, sí están en la clase correcta, solo que su docente pues está malita de salud. Así que, eh, well, let's start. Uh, my name is Blanca Dinora Delgado. And, uh, well, uh, I have been teaching with this program. Uh, actually, I just finished a module last week. Yes, we finished module one of the beginners, module one, level one. Okay, so, um, well, let's start. How many, first of all, I want to check how many are you in your group? ¿Cuántos son en este grupo? Porque no tengo lista. Yo exactamente no sé cuántos son, pero normalmente veo como entre 14 y 20 conectados. Ah, ok. 
Ok. Eso significa que ahorita nos falta mmm, como el 70%. Aunque solo veo... Well, let me see. Two, three, four, five. No, digamos que un 50 o 60% nos hace falta. Ok. Well, um, let's start because time is gold. El tiempo es oro, como dice el dicho. ¿Verdad? Así que, eh, well, let's, let's see. Eh, how are you? How are you tonight? Fine, thank you, teacher. Thank you. Great. Hello. Okay. Hello, how are you? Fine. Fine. Are you thank tired? You. Well, I'm fine, but I'm tired too. <laughs> I I have been working too much. Okay, let's see. Leah, how are you? How are you? Good evening. Good evening. Okay, well, um, I'm going to start sharing my screen just so we know what we're doing today, okay? Um, wait a second, wait a second. Here, here, here. Okay, nos vamos a enfocar ahorita en eh, el objetivo de nuestra clase. Um, so, we have in English, by the end of this class, you will learn to sound natural when saying compound nouns. So, this is the first objective. We have two for today's class, okay? This is the first one. So, first, we're going to focus on uh, some pronunciation practice, okay? Um, and to start, uh, we're going to watch the video, okay, uh, to check the model, and then we are going to practice on our own, okay? Primero revisamos el video. Okay, here we are. So, first, please watch the video. Let's watch the video. Uh, pay attention to the pronunciation, okay? Right now here we are seeing that it's about compound nouns, okay? And then we're going to practice, okay? So right now, just pay attention, please. Okay, let me start from the beginning. This sound Let's get started by listening and practicing. Compound nouns. Notice the stress in these compound nouns. Post office. Gas station. Restroom. Coffee shop. Drugstore. Supermarket. Bookstore. Department store. I would like to start off by explaining what compound nouns are. A noun equals a person, a place, or a thing. So basically anything that you can see around you is a noun. Compound nouns are a combination between two words that make up a new noun. For example, the compound noun gas station. Gas or by itself is a noun, station is a noun. Together, they make up a different noun. Now that we understand what compound nouns are, I would like to dig into stress of these compound nouns. Stress in words in English is a big topic. However, in this class, we're going to make it short and simple and stick to compound nouns only. So the simple rule that we can follow is whenever we have a compound noun, we usually stress the first word or the first noun. This means that we're going to say the first word louder than the rest. Let me read these compound nouns again. I would like for you to practice with me as well. 
post office, gas station, restroom, coffee shop, drugstore, supermarket, bookstore, department store. Now your turn. Okay. So that was a little explanation about uh, compound nouns and how we pronounce them, okay? So right now here in our presentation, uh, I would like us to practice based on the example we had in the video, okay? Um, so, First, let's review, ¿ok? Vamos a, a revisar, a repasar un poco lo que nos decía el video, ¿ok? Eh, first, let's talk about compound nouns. ¿Por qué le llamamos compound nouns? Can somebody tell me, please? ¿Alguien que nos quiera compartir? Pues son como complementos del verbo. O de los adjetivos. <risa> ok, ok. Veamos otra respuesta. Nombres compuestos. Ok. Nombres compuestos. En, en español, de hecho, la palabra noun se traduce como sustantivos. Sustantivos compuestos. Ajá. Pero también nombre, se puede decir nombre. Eh... Ok, muy bien. Entonces, como hablamos de compuesto, un nombre o un sustantivo compuesto, eh, so this is what we have here. Ok, we have nouns that have two words. Ok, and actually both words are nouns. Pero, ¿qué es un noun? Estamos hablando de nouns, pero a ver, what is a noun? What is a noun? In the video, you, you have some little definitions. So I don't know if somebody remembers. ¿Quién se acuerda lo que decía el video de esto? Que es un noun. A person, a place, or a... Ajá. A person, a place, or a... Thing, creo que... Thing. No, no, no recuerdo la última. You are right. Thing. Yes, mm -hmm. a person, a place, or a thing, exactly. So uh, everything that has to do with people, uh, for example, when I say um, boy or girl or um, teacher, student, mother, father, um, sister, um, baby, um, grandfather, okay? All those are nouns that refer to people, right? Um, now, a place, let's, let's check examples of places. Uh, here in the, in the examples, here in the practice, we have bookstore, we have supermarket, we have drugstore. Actually, all of these nouns that you see here are about what? ¿Qué tipo de nouns son estos que ven aquí, de acuerdo con la definición? Person, place, or thing? Place. place. Exactly. Mm -hmm. All of them are places. Mm -hmm. Yes, all of them are places. Okay, what about things? An example could be a car. What else? Can you give me more examples? ¿Qué otros ejemplos de things? I gave you one. I said car, car. ¿Qué otros ejemplos podemos poner de cosas? <clears throat> ok. 
Ok, no se nos ocurren otros. Ok, let's see. Yes, I... no? Ajá, repeat please. No? Shoes, yes. Shoes, very good. Uh -huh. Table. Table. Uh -huh. Anything else? No. Okay, uh, so those are examples of nouns. Now, uh, let's talk about compound nouns, okay? Ahora que ya sabemos qué son los nouns y vimos algunos ejemplos de cada uno, de cada tipo, eh, let's now talk about compound. Why are they compound? Because they have two, okay? They have two nouns. And these two nouns, when they are together, they make one, okay? They make only one noun. <clears throat> For example, post office, okay? Si yo solo digo office, es como en general, ¿verdad? Puede ser eh, the office in, in a school, the office in a um, department store, the office in a hospital. I mean, there are offices in many places, right? But when you say post office, ya eso ya le está agregando qué tipo de oficina es, right? In this case, post office, right? So we're talking about mail, el correo, okay? Uh, let's look at the, the second example, gas station, gas station. Aquí el nombre, digamos, general, eh, el más genérico sería station. You can say, for example, bus station, okay? Uh, train station, okay? So, the station, you can have a bus, a train, and here we also have gas station. Entonces, esto del gas es, nos está diciendo qué tipo de, de estación es, ¿ok? Gas station. And so on. Y así todos estos ejemplos que vemos aquí podemos analizarlos de, de, de esa misma manera. Eh, tenemos un noun que es como el más general y el otro que le da el... Eh, significado específico, okay? Um, I don't know if it's clear what a compound noun is. Is it it's clear? clear? It's clear. Excellent, thank you. Okay, very good. Now let's focus on the pronunciation, okay? And because these are compound nouns, we need to stress the first word, okay? So we need to stress the first word, meaning that we need to pronounce the first word more clear and louder than the other one, okay? Esta siempre la vamos a pronunciar más claramente y más fuerte que la demás, okay? The stress, the stress goes in the first one. Okay, so let's see. I have, for example, post office, post office, gas station, gas station, restroom, restroom, coffee shop, drugstore, supermarket, bookstore, department store, Here, in department store, si se fijan en la palabra department, hay incluso una parte de la palabra que se escucha más, que sería esta sílaba de en medio, department store, department store, okay? So now it's your turn, okay? Now we're going to have a, let me see, Okay, let's start with Estrella. 
Estrella, let's practice the pronunciation for the first four, okay? Los primeros cuatro. Okay. Bus office. Gas station. Bread room. Coffee shop. Okay. En restroom, si lo podemos repetir. Restroom. Restroom. Perfect. Okay, very good. Now let's continue with Jennifer. Jennifer, can you practice with the the second group from drugstore to department store? Uh, veamos. Yo tengo levantada la mano. Uh-huh. Uh, store. Ajá. Uh -huh. Supermarket. Mm -hmm. Ball store. Department store. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Now let's continue with Lea. Let's do the first four, please. Okay. Post office. Gas mm -hmm. station. Restroom, coffee shop. Great. Okay, let's continue with Raquel. The second, please, the second group. Drug store, supermarket, book, book store, department store. Okay, thank you. And let's see, we have also Rosa Elba. Rosa Elba, can you do the first one, please? The first four. Gas station, bread mm -hmm. room, coffee shop. Okay, very good. Uh, let's practice restroom, restroom. Restroom. Okay, okay, good. Well, now we're going to continue practicing. Vamos a practicar una vez más, bueno, un poco más de esto, the pronunciation. Okay, and now I need you to make a list of three compound nouns, okay? Three compound nouns. Otros que no sean los que están ahí en la lista, sino que ustedes los, los busquen. Y... Lo vamos a ir diciendo, we're going to name them, okay? And then we are going to write them in the chat, okay? So right now, can you please, okay, we're going to take, um, let me see, three minutes. Vamos a tener tres minutos para buscarlos, okay? Al cabo de tres minutos voy a preguntar que me los empiecen a decir y los vamos a ir escribiendo en el chat, okay? Is it clear, everybody? Clear. Excellent. Okay, so we start the three minutes now.
Okay, time is over. Are you ready? Or do you need more time? Okay, aquí tenemos ya. From Estrella, Estrella, you have your examples. Okay, uh, mientras los demás ponen ahí sus ejemplos, vamos a analizar los de Estrella, okay? Uh, let's see, we have airlines. Airlines, very good, yes. A uh, comeback, comeback. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, the second one could be a verb or it could be a noun too. Okay, so trabaja como ambos, como verbo y como sustantivo. Um, no, then the last one, notebook. Okay, very good. Notebook, notebook. Remember, okay, um, the when we practice a pronunciation, the stress goes in the first part, okay? So let's pay attention to how we are pronouncing them, okay? Rosa Elba's example, let's look at her examples. Tennis ball, television screen, okay? Car park, good. Let's see Leah's examples. Heartbeat, bookcase, boyfriend. Mm -hmm. Very good. Now, uh, do you see any of these nouns that are not familiar to you, that you don't know? ¿Cuáles son nuevos para ustedes? Do you know all of them? Okay, no me dicen nada, entonces sí entiendo que todos los conocen, ¿verdad? Um, let me see Raquel's examples. We have pharmacy and shoe. Okay, pharmacy no sería un compound noun, Raquel, porque no tiene, es decir, no está compuesto de dos sustantivos, es una sola palabra, okay? Eh, y en el caso de shoe, creo que, no sé si quiso decir shoe store, ahí sí, shoe store. Okay. Sí, mm -hmm. eh, shoe ¿Perdón? Shoe store. Que se dice. Ah, okay. Okay, shoe store. Yes. Good. Okay. Eh, Ajá. Debería beauty, beauty, beauty. Sería salón de belleza. Cabería. Oh. Eh, yes. Mm -hmm. Beauty salón. Beauty salón. Yes, beauty salon. Excuse me? Beauty supply. Ah, yes, that's another one. Very good example. Beauty supply. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay, very good. Let's see who is new here. Marta Concepcion. Y Lorena, welcome. Okay, now let's practice saying them, okay? Yo ya los estuve repitiendo, los que ustedes han ido poniendo, pero ahora quiero que ustedes lo digan, okay? So let's start with Estrella. Can you name yours, please? Sure. Ajá, say, say the ones you... You have your examples. I know I'm talking about Madbot and Tennis Ball, Television Spring. Okay, solo uh, los suyos. Uh, solo los suyos, okay? Um, <laughs> no problem. Okay, so let's practice. Repeat, please, after me. Airlines. 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 
en Alamas. Okay, the first word I think is a little difficult for you. Air. Air. Yeah. Yeah. Air. Mm -hmm. Airline. Excellent. Airline. Very good. Airlines. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, then the others, I think it was okay. Let's see, Rosa Elba. Pronounce yours, please. Your examples. Tennis ball. Mm -hmm. Television screen. Mm -hmm. Car park. Okay. Very good. Just in the second one, let's practice the second word. Television screen. Screen. Television screen. Okay. Mm -hmm. Good. Uh, Lea, can you practice yours, please? Pronounce your examples. Herbie, bookcase, boyfriend. Okay. The first one, let's repeat the first one, please. Heartbeat. Heartbeat. Heart. Heartbeat. Yes. yes, heart. Okay. Good things, boyfriend. Yes, perfect. Okay, Raquel, can you can you practice with yours, please? Beauty salon. Mm -hmm. Shoe stop. A shop, sería? Shoe shop, yes. Shoe shop. Shoe shop. Mm -hmm. Perfect. Okay, those are all the examples we have. So if you want, you can take notes of more examples of compound nouns. Remember, this is what we were checking, okay? Let me go back, okay? Compound nouns. We started practicing the pronunciation of these nouns that we have here. And I ask you to look for more examples, okay? So you can copy those examples in your notebook to have more vocabulary to, um, to use later on. Okay, let's go back to um, the platform here and let's check, okay? Remember, I, I started by checking the objective. This objective was by the end of this class, you will learn to sound natural when saying compound nouns, okay? And how do you sound natural? Well, when you stress, when you stress uh, the word in the right place, okay? El hecho de ir pronunciando, de, de poner el acento donde debe ir nos ayuda a sonar más naturales, okay? Entonces, por eso practicamos la pronunciación para eh, entonar o mejor dicho, eh, dar énfasis eh, a ciertas partes de la palabra, en este caso, la primera parte, que es lo que básicamente nos está diciendo. Como yo les explicaba al inicio, por ejemplo, post office. La palabra office is general, right? But when you add post, ya se convierte en un nombre más específico, en un sustantivo más específico, porque estoy, yo no estoy hablando de cualquier oficina, estoy hablando de la oficina de correos, ¿ok? Entonces, por eso la pronunciación es importante, ¿ok? Uh, do you have any question right now? Mm, no. No questions? Teacher, entonces sería los... Serían dos palabras en un solo sustantivo, prácticamente lo que serían Exacto. los. Ok. Los compound nouns, así es. Uh -huh. Unimos dos palabras y de esa, pues ya se convierte en un solo sustantivo. Ok. Ok, very good. Now we have another mini lesson. Ok, now that we have practiced with these compound nouns. Uh, there is another mini lesson that I want you to check the objective for, okay? Vamos a continuar con nuestro siguiente objetivo que sería By the end of this class, you will learn prepositions of place in order to, to give directions. Additionally, you will practice a conversation which illustrates how this topic is used in a real life setting, okay? So the focus for right now is 
prepositions of place. Okay. Um, so let me move on here. Okay. And um, well, first we have this conversation model, but I want I want us to listen from the original audio. Okay, vamos a ver el video para, para que escuchen el audio original de la conversación. Okay, so right now, let's focus on the video. Let me see. Okay, here we are. So right now, what are we going to do? ¿Qué vamos a hacer ahorita? Just pay attention to the video, okay? There you have the moral conversation and also a little explanation of the grammar focus, okay? Vamos a hacer esto como introducción y ya luego seguimos nosotros practicando, okay? So let's watch the video. Okay. Sorry, it's... Uh, Hi, everyone. In this class, you'll learn prepositions of a place in order to give the direction. Additionally, you'll practice conversation which illustrates how the topic in the real life setting. Eh, sí, sí tiene sí. razón. El audio es del video original está bien bajito. Si tienen audífonos, si pueden ponerse audífonos, eh, lo, ahí lo escucharían mejor. Pero lastimosamente yo ya le di todo el volumen a mi, aquí a mi compu y también el video, si, si ven, ya tiene todo el audio. Solo permítanme, quiero ver si lo puedo modificar de otra forma. Let me see. Okay. Perfecto. Solo quiero... Revisar aquí el audio de mi. Sí, está al 100%. Veamos. Falta voces. Yes. Sí, entonces ya es de la, del, del video acá. Okay, let's start. Hi everyone. In this class, you'll learn representations of the place in order to give direction. Additionally, you'll practice the conversation which illustrates the topic in a real life setting. Let's get started by listening to a conversation titled "It's Cross from Park." Let's listen and practice. El audio de la conversación sí creo que está más más fuerte. Veamos. Excuse me, can you help me? Is there a public restroom around here? A public restroom? Hmm. I'm sorry, I don't think so. Oh no, my son needs a restroom. Well, there's a restroom in the department store on Main Street. Where on Main Street? It's on the corner of Main and First Avenue. On the corner of Main and First? Yes, it's across from the park. You can't miss it. Thanks a lot. Ok, so that's the moral conversation. Después vamos a regresar a ella. Eh, solo vamos a ver esta partecita y ya nos vamos a regresar a estudiar más la moral conversation. Ok, so right now let's pay attention to this part. Talk about prepositions in place. Let's practice the following prepositions and phrases. On. On the corner of. Across from, next to, between. 
The department store is on Main Street. It's on the corner of Main and First. It's across from the park. It's next to the bank. The bank is between the department store and the restaurant. Let's take a look at our map now. And let me point out the locations mentioned. The departments. Okay, so I'm going to stop here the video. Después vamos a regresar acá y vamos ahorita a ver la conversación. Okay, so let's focus now on the conversation model. Okay, so the topic that we are practicing is prepositions of place, okay? So um, in this conversation, we will see some examples of prepositions of place that uh, we checked in the, in, the, in the grammar part, okay? For example, we have on, on the corner of, across from, next to, between, okay? So now, in the conversation, I need you to help me find the examples of prepositions of place, okay? ¿Qué ejemplo vemos aquí de, los, de las prepositions on, on the corner of, across from, next to, between? Which ones do we have here? I crawl, it's across, it's on. Okay, very good. Across from, yes. Mm -hmm. On casa? Main Street. On Main Street, very good. Yes, on. Uh -huh. Repeat, please. On the corner. Ah, okay. Very good. Yes, on the corner of. Excellent. Mm -hmm. Hello? Across from? Across from, yes. Mm -hmm. Exactly. So there are, let me see, on Main Street is one. On the corner of is another one. Uh, across from is another one, okay? So we have three examples. Very good. Okay, now I need you to pay attention to how they use these prepositions in a, the, the conversation, okay? Um, because they use them for asking for directions, okay? What are they looking for? ¿Qué están buscando? En esta conversación, ¿qué lugar necesita? The park. Restroom. The restroom. Ajá. Look at the question here at the beginning. The man says, excuse me, can you help me? Is there a public restroom around here? So they are looking for a restroom, mm -hmm. a public restroom. Mm, I'm sorry, I don't think so. Okay, first the woman doesn't know. ¿Verdad? Primero no sabe y luego el hombre dice, oh no, my son needs a restroom. Okay, uh, then the woman says, well, there is a restroom in the department store on Main Street. Okay, en este caso, no es un public restroom, ¿verdad? Porque está dentro de una tienda. Eh, but, eh, probably, she can, he can use the bathroom, the restroom. So he asks, where on Main Street? Ok, porque cuando hablamos de una calle puede ser así como decimos aquí, por ejemplo, el pase está sobre el paseo escalón. Right? Para el paseo escalón es. has many eh, blocks. Ok, tiene muchas cuadras. Entonces, para ser más específico, preguntamos: 
Where on Main Street? Where on Main Street? Ah, on the corner of, y ahí estamos especificando, ¿verdad? On the corner of Main and First Avenue. Ok, para hacer, dar una referencia de aquí de El Salvador, diríamos, por ejemplo, eh, on the corner of eh, 79 North Avenue. Ok. Mm -hmm. On the corner of Paseo Escalón en 79 North Avenue. Así, ya estamos siendo bien específicos, right? Um, okay, and then the man repeats the question. On the corner of Main and First? Yes, it's across from the park. Aquí estamos dando otra referencia más, ¿verdad? Primero dijimos en la esquina, luego... Across from, okay? Across from. Okay. Across from. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Enfrente. Okay? So this is how you um, use it like in a conversation, okay? I wanted you to check uh, the, the prepositions in the conversation first. And then we're going to... Um, check what they mean, ok? Aunque ya vimos un poquito de eso, de qué significan, pero acá en estas imágenes podemos ubicarnos un poco más claramente de qué significa cada uno. Por ejemplo, cuando digo on Main Street, what am I talking about? ¿De qué estoy hablando? On Main Street. Estoy señalando una... Una, una calle. Una calle, exacto. Entonces, cuando voy a mencionar una calle, voy a usar la preposición. On. On. Uh -huh. Ya les mencionaba yo aquí en el ejemplo de El Salvador. On paseo escalón. ¿Ok? On uh -huh. paseo escalón. Así diríamos. On paseo escalón. Okay. Now let's look at on the corner mm. of so on the esquina. Yes, en on la the esquina corner de. Of, exacto. Y yo le di el ejemplo también del on the corner of Paseo Escalón and 79 eh, North Avenue. Okay. Mm. 79 North yes. Avenue. Okay. Um, next, uh, across from, across from, enfrente, enfrente, uh -huh. okay, enfrente. Um, también existe la, la preposición in front of, okay. Pero eh, básicamente la diferencia eh, generalmente es que cuando decimos across from es porque hay una calle de por medio. Usted tiene que cruzar la calle. Por eso es que es across. You have to cross the street. ¿Ok? Hay una calle en medio. Y a veces usted puede tener algo enfrente, pero no necesariamente hay una calle en medio. Entonces, por eso... Ahí usaríamos el in front of, que no está aquí, pero se lo estoy comentando porque sí eh, lo usamos también. Okay. Um, well, next to, I think it's very easy, right? Mm -hmm. Y aquí tenemos next to. Siguiente. ¿Perdón? Sería como siguiente. No, no, aquí no, estamos no, no. ahorita en la, hablando de, de lugar, de la posición en que está en un lugar. Entonces, eh, en este caso sería a la par. Next. To. A la par, al lado de, no, a la par sería. Al lado de o a la par, cualquiera de los okay. dos. Ok, gracias. Uh -huh. And the last one is between, ok, between. Ahí vemos que está lo azulito. ¿Verdad? El edificio azulito está between los otros dos. Y ahí mencionaríamos, por ejemplo, 
the bank is between the school and the library, digamos, between, ¿ok? Entonces ahí vemos que está en medio, eso significaría between. Between okay. es en medio. Uh -huh. Yes. Pero sería, no sé cómo preguntar, sería así como a los dos lados hay calle, y estaría en medio edificio, algo así. No, no, en este caso los tres son edificios. O sea, como ah. que usted tiene los tres edificios a la par, entonces aquí el, el azul está en medio. Entonces usted dice, ah. por ejemplo, bueno, digamos un ejemplo, veamos. Mi apartamento está en medio. Ajá, yes. Pero no hay una cafetería, estoy tratando de darle un ejemplo de aquí del de Salvador. Like, let me see. Um, chun, 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 chun. Uh, let's see. The um, Banco Agrícola, the, the, the Agrícola Bank is between. Um, let's see. The is between the library and the. Um, uh, let me see the library and the department store. Okay. Así, hay dos edificios a cada. Hay un edificio a cada lado y el del que estamos hablando está en medio. Okay. Any other question about the meaning? Ahorita nos estamos enfocando en qué significan. Ya vamos a seguir practicando eh, con otros ejemplos. Okay, is it clear? Sí. Entonces sería a cross from sería siempre siempre que haya una calle por el medio que se tenga que cruzar. Uh -huh. al lugar que está buscando uno. Exacto. Okay. Ok. Uh, here we only have, let me see, one, two, three, four, five. But there are other. Ok. So right now we are focusing only on these five. Pero hay más prepositions of place que luego, según vayan avanzando, van a ir descubriendo. Okay, so right now we are only using five of them, okay? So now we're going to practice. We're going to do a uh, speaking and writing practice, okay? With these prepositions of place. Pero primero quiero que veamos el resto del video porque ahí hay unos ejemplos, okay? He's going to explain or he's going to give us some examples. So please watch the video. So you can use it later as a reference, or as an example. Okay, so let's watch. The department store is on Main Street. It's on the corner of May and First. It's across from the park. is next to the bank. The bank is between the department store and the restaurant. All the images you can see. Okay, so he was giving us some examples. Ahí nos dio algunos ejemplos. Y ahora vamos a pasar a nuestra práctica. Okay, let me see here. Okay, uh, well, I was going to do this in breakout rooms. Let me see. But I think we, we don't have that much time, okay? No tenemos tanto tiempo, pero uh, vamos a hacer esto. Lo vamos a empezar a hacer ahorita así uh, entre todas, pero mañana... Vamos a 
y lo, le vamos a dar más, más énfasis a esta práctica, ¿ok? So right now, let's just do a few examples, ¿ok? Tenemos para hacer algunos ejemplos. Um, so we're going to use this picture, ¿ok? Vamos a usar esta imagen. And first, I want us to identify the places, ¿ok? En primer lugar, vamos a identificar los lugares que vemos ahí, ¿ok? So... For example, let me see, what is this? That's a station. Okay, we have, uh, the name is Gus, Gus's Gas Station, okay? Gus's Gas Station. Okay, what else do we see? For example, this one is? Hospital. The hospital. Hospital. Okay, doctor's hospital. Mm-hmm. Then we have this one. Post office. Yes, it says U.S. Post Office. Okay, then we have. School. Bookstore. 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 Yes, very good. I think it says Second Avenue Bookstore. Mm -hmm. Okay, then here, these are the from the stores. The department store. Uh -huh. yeah. Then you see the bank, city bank. Then this yeah, is Maria restaurant. Maria's restaurant, exactly. This one is drugstore. That is drugstore. Drugstore, very good. We also have Supermarket, 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 P and J supermarket, and this is um favorite. Yes, I guess it's just shoes. shoes. Mm -hmm. Favorite shoes. So it's a shoe store or shoe shop. shop. Mm -hmm. Here we have. This is the. Um, the Regency mm -hmm. Movie Theater. Yeah. And we have the park. There is a parking lot here. Okay, so now that we have identified the places, vamos a hacer al menos unas dos preguntas. Okay. Mm -hmm. the, the apartment store is on the park. Eh, como diciendo... Okay. Así como el, el video que lo acabamos de ver. Ajá, pero ahorita, vaya, voy a darles un ejemplo y luego ustedes me lo, lo, lo hacen. Ok, eh, right now I'm going to ask the question. Ok, voy a preguntarle a, let me see, Lea. Ok, Lea. Eh, where is, ok, Lea, where is the Regency Movie Theater? Is the... Next to the park. Mm, no. There the, is a street. Hay una calle en medio, entonces no puede decir. Uh, next to. Across mm -hmm. from the park. Okay, yes, we can say it is across from the park. Very good. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's see another example. Vamos a ver quién más. Lorena, um, where is the supermarket? Uh, the supermarket is um, seria, no, oops, en lugar, in front, oh, bueno, dijimos de que no, allá tenía que pasarse una calle para hacer across, ¿verdad? Ajá. Y ese es, mm, between, no, 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 between, ups, se me ha escapado, lo siento. Porque no, sería no, como, no. o sea, de, el supermercado está como atrás. Ajá. Atrás de, pero es que el otro no distingo de dónde, es que es droguería o qué es. Porque soy desde el teléfono. Uh -huh. Drugstore. Mm, no diría que está atrás, porque acuérdense que la vista que tenemos ahorita es como que usted lo está viendo desde arriba. Entonces, y el que está enfrente, sí, para, para hacer across, 
Okay, across is Maria's restaurant. Ah, okay. Entonces, eh, sería the supermarket across eh, Maria's restaurant. Ajá, it is across from Maria's restaurant. Ah, okay. I ask you, where is the supermarket? Gracias. You answer, it is across from Maria's restaurant. Mm -hmm. Okay. Across, across, from, from Maria's restaurant. Yes, mm -hmm. across from Maria's restaurant. You okay. can also say next to Davis Drugstore, next to, porque aquí no hay nada que los separe, están a la par, okay? Mm -hmm. um, okay, Gracias. no problem. Okay, so, well, Unfortunately, time is over, but uh, tomorrow I, I'm going to dedicate the first 15 minutes to practice with this. Okay, vamos a seguir haciendo preguntas y contestando usando las prepositions of place. Okay, so this is it for today, everybody. Nice to meet you. And remember, you will be with me today, tomorrow, and Friday, ¿ok? No nos vamos a reunir el jueves porque no, no podemos, pero sí el viernes terminamos las jornadas de esta semana, ¿ok? So, I'll see you tomorrow. Bye, bye. Thank bye, bye, teacher. Bye, teacher. Night. 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 Night.